Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is MU Media Services, uh, broadcasting all the way or bringing you all the way from uh, California. And the way I've decided to stop off, I was making a trip and I've st stopped in a region where they are embracing the use of wind turbines to generate electricity. And this is a form of uh, clean energy generation, gentlemen. And as we know, the world is trying to embrace clean energy generation. And this is one of the sources. If you know, or if you are in a, in a, in a situation, in a policy formulation uh, situation, in a policy formulation position in your country, or wherever you are in your organization, and you can promote clean energy generation, please, I think this is a better way to do it, or this is a, 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 better, gener a better direction to go. And it's not only good for you, but it's also good. This is the future of my children, of your children. So kindly gentlemen, you have such a beautiful landscape from far, you cannot go near, but you can truly, truly see that the city of California, or this particular city in California, has tried to adopt uh, or to improve or to disseminate or to put into practice what the world is talking about and that is using wind to generate electricity and this will reduce the pressure of using fossil fuel we know uh, we have issues about fossil and uh, energy generation because uh, the different forms of climatic problems that we are currently facing well the other thing that is very interesting in this region is that while on this side we have a lot of wind turbines generating electricity or being used as a source of power, on this side or other you find very very interesting. The owner of this particular environment or this particular farm has a lot of sheep and as you know I believe the cow dung or the manure from this sheep is being used for generation of energy in one form or another. But on the other hand, the sheep also provide a sort of protein or a source of meat, some of the good meat that we need. So, please embrace some of this uh, technology that we, you are seeing here. It's something worth pursuing, something worth following. And if you like this video, please hit me up, give me a comment, give your comment, give me a like, subscribe, because I'm interested in reaching a thousand viewers so that I can start getting more and more interesting or fun stuff to you from around the globe. So do not forget to join the team, do not forget, do not be left behind because the train has left and please subscribe, please be part of the journey, hit me up, do not just view. If you view and you feel you can subscribe, well, write a comment on what I can give you for the next video because there is tons and tons of information that I'll be bringing right there regarding environment and nature because that's what MU stands for. MU literally stands for Me and You Media Services. That's taking root. And I believe in the future this is something that will be uh, sought for because the train has left and that's my vision. So, thank you very much for watching this channel, supporting MU Media uh, in whatever you do by subscribing. And hey, just see, the sheep are having fun and they are watching at me. And I'm telling you, this is a good example of, you know, land use. For those who've done environment, we know the issue of land use systems is very, very permanent paramount and the way you use your land to generate to generate food is quite critical and this is literally basically one form of land use pattern that I embrace or I advise or I advocate for people to use so gentlemen as I leave this area I now I'm bringing you more and more information more and more news Please subscribe to MU Media all the way from California. Gentlemen, you are welcome. Please subscribe. Road to 1,000 subscribers. Bye-bye for now, amigos. Thank you. Ciao.